My topic for today is accelerating the AI revolution. Before I even start with my topic, let me just explain to you what I think of artificial intelligence. To me, artificial intelligence is adding intelligence to human beings. Artificial intelligence is adding memory and accessibility of memory and accessibility of data to human beings. That is what I call artificial intelligence. So keeping that context in mind, I'm going to talk about how machine learning technology within artificial intelligence is going to scale the industrial revolution that we are in. I also want to share some stories with you that in 1700s, two countries that were significant contributors of the world GDP were India and China. In 1800s, it became UK, Germany, and France. 2017, we have United States, we have Japan, we have China. But you know what? The analysis and vision that everybody is painting towards, in 2030, India will re-emerge as the leading nation to the world's GDP. So I really like to call us as a re-emerging nation because we were emerged at one point of time. 300 years have passed, 1717 to 2017, and it's time for us to re-emerge again. I will talk about three things in machine learning. I'll start with why. And actually in why, I will refer to many of the speakers before who talked about, you know, uh, leveraging artificial intelligence, machine learning in health, in, uh, uh, you know, leveraging in uh, industrial revolution with robotics, etc. So I'll go to my very first foil. This is one of our, you know, founders for Intel. Intel is heavily investing in artificial intelligence. I'll just briefly summarize what he tried to say here. It's a very long quote. He said, there was a time we were actually building machines that would act like brain. Times have reversed. We're actually studying brains and leveraging machines to help the brain. AI, artificial intelligence, is transformative. I don't have to tell you the use case. Many of our speakers talked about it. But one of the speakers said, productivity has not increased. And other than showing you, you know, in the consumer space, health space, finance space, you say it every walks of our life, artificial intelligence, machine learning is gonna to touch us. So I don't have to explain to you why. It's already proven by all the other esteemed speakers. However, I want to very show you a very simple equation. And that's why I call artificial intelligence as added intelligence. Just to explain to you, the very first equation says 1.01 raised to 365 equals 37.8. What I'm trying to show you is with the 1% additional efficiency per day, over 365 days, the output one human being can make is 37.8. If you lose that 1% efficiency, your output is 0.03. I rest my case for why. Artificial intelligence is a necessity. Productivity has to increase. I value the 1%. So therefore, my why is established. Now what I'm gonna talk about is the how and the what. In explaining to you the how and the what, I want to bust the myth around artificial intelligence. Many of you did not raise your hands because you have not understood artificial intelligence and the simplicity of it. You won't believe you have been doing it, leveraging it forever. I will tell you why I am a good person to speak on artificial intelligence is because I have background in statistics and I've worked in Intel for 25 years. Artificial intelligence or machine learning is simply leveraging statistics, leveraging mathematics, leveraging a whole lot of computer memory from the existing data and creating predictions and cognitive understanding for the future. So demystifying AI, let me just explain to you. Rather than saying 
a computer that leverages existing data to build a regression equation or a logistic equation to predict some of the requirements that we have for a purpose, we chose to call it machine learning. It is as simple as taking a whole lot of data. How many of you have done y equals mx plus c? Just a show of hands. How many of you have fit an equation? Everybody uses Excel. Expand it. y equals b0 plus b1, uh, x1 plus b2, x2. Machine learning is leveraging data, x1, x2, x3, x4, fitting it to the, to the uh, variable of purpose, y. Whether it is linear or non-linear, you can translate it into linear by doing log transformation or whatever have you, but it is as simple as that. My ask is, if we have a goal of taking an Indian economy to be the leading economy of 2030, we have to have many more startups in the space of machine learning. Why? United States will see 15% GDP growth because of artificial intelligence. Can I tell you how much China will see? China will see 25%. Rest of the world, 5%. I don't want to be in the 5% space. I want to bust the myth around machine learning. I'll tell you 25 years ago, I was learning HTML and XML. Till I learned it, it looked very daunting. Such fancy web pages with programming inside. I feel about machine learning the same way. I want to bust the myth and tell you that many of you can drive artificial intelligence related startups, related endeavors, related education, and driving the growth for, uh, for our country. We have seen artificial intelligence be used in multiple areas, but remember that the technology underneath this is machine learning. The technology underneath is you have done it and you can still do it. What is important is you have the data, you built the model, where do I use it? And why is it important for us in India? The amount of unstructured data we have in India, the amount of infrastructure chaos we have in India is unbelievable which other country to leverage AI, because AI is best used when the data is unstructured, when the data is immense. I really don't have to explain to you the scale. I don't have to explain to you the democratization because artificial intelligence thrives on the plethora of data that is available in an unstructured format. So that is why the urge is more startups, more engagements in the space of art artificial intelligence. We will only succeed if we leverage artificial intelligence. I will rest and finish my case with most of the companies are driving research on artificial intelligence, actually trying to identify what are the new use cases. Only 12% of the companies are actually leveraging. And I'll finish with one story, guys. I was in uh, Paris just till yes, this morning almost, and I saw a prison called Bastille. Bastille was a prison which uh, bourgeois or commoners in France stormed and broke up with the amount of energy and passion that they have during the French Revolution. My ask is us as common people, us as a Jaguar type innovation, if we get together, we can drive and lead the revolution of artificial intelligence. Thank you very much, guys.